Do you guys remember this ad for cookie crisp cereal? Just how amazing that looked to me as a child. I thought this must be the best tasting thing on the planet. Cut to me being a very disappointed eight year old trying it for the first time. In today's video, I am fulfilling my lifelong dream of eating a bowl of actual chocolate chip cookie crisp cereal. These are delicious. They're not too sweet and due to the addition of oats, very satisfying. And afterwards, after I'm done with the cereal, I'll just be hanging out, answering some of your questions. It's a very chill video today, brought to you by Squarespace. First, melt some vegan butter. I did that by placing it into an oven-proof bowl and then placing that into the preheating oven. You have to preheat the oven at some point right now anyway. In the meantime, grab your food processor and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Blend up the dry ingredients first. So add some oats, all-purpose flour, cinnamon, salt, and baking powder. Blend this up until fine and powdery. And then add the melted vegan butter. It doesn't have to be fully melted, by the way. Just halfway melted is okay. Then add some cashew butter or any other nut butter of choice. Cashew has a very neutral flavor, um, which is why I would recommend that. Also add some applesauce, vanilla, and sugar. Hit blend again. Then test the consistency. I ended up having to add a few extra tablespoons of non-dairy milk, one tablespoon at a time until you've got this cookie dough sort of texture to it. Lastly, mix in the chocolate chips. Now shape the mix into little bite-sized cookies. Yeah, keep in mind that they're going to rise a tiny bit in the oven. This recipe makes enough for two to three sheets of cookie cereal total. I'd say to bake them one after the other. Bake these for about 10 minutes or until golden brown. If you prefer some more crunch, you can leave them in the oven for up to 14, 15 minutes, but keep an eye on them so they won't turn too dark. They're going to firm up as they're cooling down as well. And if you don't want to continue baking the other batches right now, you can just keep the dough in the fridge for up to three days. And that is it. Serve these with some cold oat milk or almond or soy and dig in. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a second video fully dedicated to recreating different cereals because I'm interested in doing that. Also, which ones should I try then? Important question. Now on to the Q&A portion of the video. I got some questions from Instagram. OG YouTube vibes. Yay. Mm. <clears throat> Wie dir? How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Um, you know, ups and downs. There hasn't been a year where I've slept less than 2022. It's just mainly been because I've, I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to work specifically. And I recently have come to the realization that it's okay not to do a perfect job at everything and that things will be okay. They'll be all right. At least that's what I'm telling myself and I've been sleeping a lot better. But yeah, this past week specifically, it's it's been good. I've been enjoying summer. Do you have any recommendations for a workout routine? I don't think I've ever worked out this little before. I, I've been so busy this year that working out has, has not been a priority. And it's been so okay only working out like once or twice a week for me recently. So that's been my little routine. I still try to be active. But what I do for workouts is literally just YouTube workouts i don't do any specific sports a youtube channel i can highly recommend is mk fit she does very quirky dance workout videos and i've just been so in love with them she has a very kind and genuine approach when it comes to fitness some of these videos will surprise you they're so tough but there's so much fun as well that you don't even feel like you did a real workout until after the fact and you're just in complete sweat so i've been dancing in my room a lot i really need to know what mascara you're using the pink or the black i love extreme volume mascara you also love the arctic monkeys yes 
very much so and i'm gonna be seeing them live end of august i'm going to rock en scene i've never seen them live before i'm a little bit scared that they're not gonna match my expectations but i'm just i'm just gonna lower them i used to listen to them a little bit when am came out but it wasn't really until lockdown one when my big obsession with them started yeah now i really love their first albums the most what was the best and the worst part of making the book getting to have complete creative freedom the publisher that i worked with dk they were so so incredibly nice they basically just let me do my thing and completely trusted me with all the photos and the recipes and the design and the vibe and i'm just very very grateful that i got to make a book that is me just 100 me another cool fact is that me and my bestie artemis got to work together so she actually illustrated a bunch of the pages and it matched so well and i think that might that might actually be the best part yeah the worst thing probably the deadlines who or what brings you the most comfort i love this question my two youngest siblings we have such a big age gap that i'm more like a mom to them or like a fun aunt <laughs> those two are just the most perfect children and i'm not just saying that because they're my siblings they bring me so much peace um so them or my family's cats wird ein buch auf deutsch oder englisch sein ich kann zumindest schon mal verraten dass eine deutsche version im gespräch ist sagen, sagen wir mal so es bleibt spannend es bleibt spannend was it difficult to choose recipes for the book yes and no i think the difficult thing was coming up with 100 totally unique recipes which is why some of the recipe titles that you'll find in the book may seem familiar but they're not just like copy and paste it don't get it twisted every single recipe in the book is new in a sense that even sometimes i took an old recipe from the channel and upgraded it and tried for this recipe to come out as perfect as possible so for example we've got my og pancake recipe in there but that recipe got a huge upgrade the pumpkin brownies that i made there's like a new method of how you can put the brownie together that makes even more sense and makes them look even more beautiful so even though some of the recipes may sound familiar all of them are new I hope that made sense. Um, a fun fact about cookbook creation, there's a job title called recipe tester. So that's someone on the team that takes the author's recipes, tries them out at home, and then gives their feedback. I don't know if this is common for every publisher or every type of cookbook out there, but it's so cool. So I basically got to work with this very lovely woman from the US. I think she was from New York. At what age did you move out and how did you handle loneliness and homesickness? I moved out at 19 and then I didn't know what to do with my life and then I moved back. And then I kind of started traveling a bit and then I found my first place. I think I was 20 as well. I try to be at home once a month at least just because my siblings are so young and I just want to still be in their life and see them grow up because... They be, they be grown up fast, it's wild. How long did it take you to write your cookbook? A little bit over a year, so the first six months were finding the recipes, testing them, sending them to the recipe tester. I had, I think, three months to take all 100 photos, plus all the ones that where, where I'm in them too. We had like a month to two months of proofreading, which that was insanely stressful. Hast du eine Idee, was die nächsten Jahre so bei dir abgeht, abgehen soll? Maybe I open up a cafe. I think that's something I want to do in my 30s. What would be your favorite recipe from the book? Right at the beginning of the book, I say that I don't have a favorite. But now thinking back, I'm like, okay, there's a handful in there that if I had to choose, it would maybe be the vanilla and date crumble bars. It's basically like a crumble cake, a date and maple filling, and then more crumbles on top. It sounds so simple and it doesn't have many ingredients, but it's honestly one of the best tasting cakes I've ever had. There's a tempeh soup in there. It's just a really good soup and it reminds me of chicken noodle soup. It has so much flavor. 
It's really easy to make. May I ask how exactly did you recover from orthorexia? I get this question a lot and I never really know what to say because eating disorders in general, they're such tricky and personal things, you know? I feel like for me, it was a lot of time that healed it and a lot of distraction. I remember I had started a like nine to five job back then. I was so busy working that I didn't have the time to think about food that much. I also took a lot of time off of social media, looking perfect or achieving a certain body type or whatever became not that important for me. Yeah, definitely opening up to somebody that helped me as well. How do you deal with failed recipes? I turn them into content and put them on my Instagram story. What is your current fashion aesthetic? I've been having so much fun with fashion this past year. I have painted nails now. That's huge for me. I never used to paint my nails. Um, sometimes I like the like warm color schemes. Sometimes I like to do, you know, the typical all black, silver jewelry, Berlin type of vibe. And other times it's masterpieces such as this one. Mina, are you gonna make a meet and greet to sign the cookbook? The plan is yes. I want to do a bunch of meetups once you guys have your books. Not just in Germany. And that would be all of the questions for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the questions also. Last but not least, big thank you to my friends over at Squarespace for supporting yet another video. Grow your business with Squarespace online and build a new cool looking website for your store, your podcast, your cafe, or whatever else it may be. I will never not be in awe of how pretty the designs of their website templates are. They're really easy and intuitive to use, so many to choose from. If you need more help and advice along the way, use their 24 hour award winning customer service. You know, video is becoming more and more important for businesses nowadays. So try Squarespace's new video studio app which helps you edit your footage effortlessly for all types of social media platforms. Visit squarespace.com slash minarome or use code minarome for 10% off your first purchase of a new site or domain. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye. Speak your